Welcome back to Africa 54. Now, this summer, 500 fellows from President Barack Obama's Young African Leaders Initiative came to the U.S. to study in management, leadership, and entrepreneurship. VOA caught up with one of them, Ghanaian J.J. Zegbefia, which isn't easy to do because he's always on the move. He may even have the world record for the fastest climb of Mount Kilimanjaro. And now he's turned his love of the outdoors into a business model. Okay. Every climbing adventure teaches me something new. So when, when I climb, she will be my ballet. Great. Yeah, and I become the climber. So the transition between what I was used to and what I, something that was completely new was an eye-opener for me. And it be, I began to really think about all the okay. kinds of stuff okay. I'll have to ensure that my clients have when I'm going back home, at least to ensure their safety and their comfort while making room, of course, for our typically hot climbing. I work in a part of the world, as you're very much aware, in Africa where people are very uh, less trustful of outdoor adventure and extreme sports. It's okay now? Yes, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's important for everyone to understand what the safety systems in place are. And that's probably even going to be the first thing we're going to market before we market the actual activity. Uh, now that we are going to do uh, rappelling, commercial rappelling with the uh, US ADF grant, I am going to be introducing as part of the entire system helmets and uh, harnessing systems and rope safety systems for my clients. Yeah, and just like the risk management techniques I have learned here, I would apply the same to ensure that uh, the rappelling business is completely safe. We have lots of people come through uh, Knowles as students, oftentimes as interns, uh, obviously employees, things along those lines. And I think everybody brings something a little bit special. But you know, I think you know, for somebody like JJ who's had experiences in Ghana, um, you know, and then he can come here, plug into our community. Um, you know, we learn from him, and hopefully, he's learning something from us as well at the same time. They actually have it to an exact science. They know how many pounds of food a person needs for a time and how much calories. And so there's actually a science to it, and that was good to learn. JJ was wonderful. I didn't, I didn't realize he had, until we got going, I didn't realize he had any experience. Pendable are there, um, those ones on that side. The sleeping mats. I should have known because from day one, he just had this calming, supportive presence. And it was just, he's an amazing person. I really, I'm really um, glad he was on our trip. I'm better positioned to now drive home both the grants access that we have and all the experiences that I have to, in the next couple of months, really make a difference in Ghana when it comes to adventure sports. My name is JJ Kweku Sagbethia, and I am from Ghana, and I'm the expedition leader for Bravehouse Expeditions.